Another week, Ian. Another awful idea from Atari. And another awful cryptocurrency. <laughs> yes, because when Paris Hilton has her own cryptocurrency and anyone else, uh, Kodak has one, but Kodak actually has a purpose from what I well, found from my friend. But Kodak hasn't even launched yet. They announced it, and then they were like, oh, we're going to delay this because things are bad for us. So Atari is uh, it's kind of like that old high school crush you had that fond memories of, hung out with. But now you hear just a meth whore at this point. Just a crack addict. Just just going down to anyone you can in order to get some cash. Get some cash get for that, that next hit. Get that next hit of Crocodile or... Because we're talking about Atari watches. or whatever. Weird-ass Atari consoles. Raising money for ports of, of games that already possibly exist. Atari speaker hats. Yes. Yes. And now the Atari token. So... <laughs> All right, so Fred Chesney, CEO of Atari Game Partners, bragged to Polygon. This is a gizmo article. He bragged to Polygon that the company's new leadership had rescued it from the edge of bankruptcy over the last few years. We had 30 million pounds of losses, 35 million pounds of debt. Today, no more debt. We are profitable. Uh, all right, that would mean that Atari isn't quite in the desperate position that Kodak has been over the last year, but still plowing into the land of corporate back to neutral coin offerings. That's what Gizmodo says. So one of the reasons why they're probably not uh, in trouble with bankruptcy is they're selling the Atari name to anyone that wants to buy it, whether right. it's Denny's, whether it's me, whether it's Asteroids. you. Asteroids. They're just <laughs> whoring out the Atari name and properties wherever they want to. So, okay. And actually, they're, so they're, they're, the Atari stocks went up after they announced this this crypto uh, By currency. double. Because people will and will back anything that is crypto they're, at the moment. They're taking a they're taking a stake in a company that's building a blockchain based digital entertainment platform, and as part of the agreement, part of the, uh, the agreement with this investing in this company, they were going to create its own digital currency called Atari Token. The company is also expanding its online casino gaming partnership with PowerPlay Limited to allow gambling with digital currencies. That sounds like a fucking awesome idea as well. Yeah. What uh, aren't they doing? There's a press release saying just talking about blockchain. By the way, blockchain technology is for real, and that's revolutionary. Cryptocurrency, on the other hand, we'll see where that ends up. These fuckers are are like king of shitty buzzwords that just like make me not want to have anything to do with this. Like, <clears throat> blockchain technology is poised to take a very important place in our environment and to transform, if not revolutionize, the current economic ecosystem, especially in the areas of the video game industry and online transactions. Given our technological strengths with the development studios and the global reputation of the Atari brand, we have the opportunity to position ourselves attractively in this sector. What, are you going to lay sexually on a couch? Our objective is to take the strategic positions with a limited cash risk in order to optimize the assets in the Atari brand. You told me nothing. Brand, the B word. Brand, position, attractively, strategic, limited cash risk. Um, so we still don't know anything about the Atari box console at all. Um, nope. I, I didn't check into the roller coaster tycoon fundraiser. That was stupid. We talked about that. That makes no sense. Porting a mobile game for, what, a million dollars? And with all these crypto coins, there's so many that are trying to be Ponzi schemes, scams, um, trying to get, what was the one, BitConnect, which was a marketplace, ended up being literally a Ponzi scheme. It's like, oh, we're, we're going we're gonna to guarantee you a return on your investment. You can't fucking guarantee, guarantee. a return on investment unless something fucking weird is happening or something illegal. Right. Taking the new money. To give to the investors above. That's basically what happened with something like that. So, oh god, it's so fucking. It's frustrating. They're they're getting all these people to to uh, they don't know any better to invest money they shouldn't be investing into cryptocurrency. Yes, some people are making money, but when everyone's making money, someone's losing money. Yeah. When you, when you're buying and selling a digital asset, there's going to be winners and losers. So people don't talk about the losers, and there's a lot of them. So, anything, anything else you need to add to this? No, I'm just really glad that you know Atari's getting into the uh, economic marketplace. That seems like a great place for them to be. 
they've done well with economics in the past. Yeah, they really have uh, throughout throughout the decades. They're definitely they've been stalwarts of economic uh, positive tendencies. And all right, so that's that's funny. 